much for coming in on this story. This is a developing story and fast-paced developments in this story. Now, while coming out, Arpita Mukherjee shouted, I have not done any wrong. It is BJP's ploy. Listen in. I wanted to speak, sir, one minute. I wanted to speak one minute. Orbita. Okay, so that is Arpita Mukherjee who has also been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in this uh, SSC scam. She, of course, while coming out, shouted out to the media, I have done no wrong. This is the BJP's ploy. So she's alleging that the BJP is trying to implicate her and she has done no wrong, though mounds of cash and currency have been seized from her residence. Indrajit is live with us right now. Indrajit, what is the course of action that the Enforcement Directorate is going to follow right now in Arpita Mukherjee's case? Well, she will have to be produced before the court, Paul Lamy, because she has now been arrested by uh, the Enforcement Directorate in the same case. Uh, it's the Prevention of Money Laundering Act under which provisions both of them have been booked. And, uh, you know, she will also have to be produced before court. It's not very clear whether that will happen today uh, because she's just been taken out of court. Medical tests have to be conducted and then finally she will have to be produced before court. She needs to be taken into remand. As I have been stating, uh, why the ED wants uh, uh, both of them in custody is that uh, they want both Partho Chatterjee as well as Arpita Mukherjee to be questioned and interrogated face to face so that uh, the inconsistencies that many people are talking about that can be nailed. However, what we were given to understand since yesterday is that both Partho Chatterjee as well as Arpita Mukherjee has not been, uh, you know, cooperating with the enforcement directorate officials in their probe. Uh, there has been a lot of reluctance on their part. They were wasting time, is what we've been told. And that is precisely the reason why this entire process dragged on for almost two days. It's unprecedented. You know, a state minister uh, being holed up at his own residence for more than 24 hours with a central agency grilling him and uh, raiding his own uh, his premises. At the same time, his close associate, uh, you know, we, what we are being told right now, and we've seen the visuals as well, it's taken quite a lot of time for bank officials uh, supervising the entire process uh, and ED officials also uh, working for the same thing to count the cash that was recovered at uh, Arpita Mukherjee's residence. In fact, what we did see today afternoon was also, uh, you know, something which is unprecedented. A lot of chests were br uh, brought in, uh, trunks were brought in, in which that money was then uh, put and it was finally transferred out of Arpita Mukherjee's residence by officials there. So clearly uh, it has been a very, very elaborate process and not just these two people, not just Partho Chatterjee and Arpita Mukherjee. Raids were conducted. This was a very, very well calculated, well calculated, uh, you know, strike by the Enforcement Directorate with teams of around 90 officers uh, spread across various locations of West Bengal, went to uh, various locations and conducted this raid simultaneously. And what's most important is that the state police and Kolkata police was not taken into loop initially. Once they reached the locations, be it Partha Chatterjee's residence or Arpita Mukherjee's residence, is, uh, it was after that that the local police station was intimated so that you know, uh, the ED and the central agency can carry on with their operations smoothly. So it was a well-calculated uh, step, a well-calculated strategy on part of the central agency. What sources are telling us that all of these people who were raided have been under the radar of this agency for several months now. Uh, they, were, they, have, they were on the radar, they were followed very closely by ED officials. And finally, when they had some concrete evidence, when they had some intelligence, 
that is when they decided to strike and this entire joint operation of uh, you know 13 locations 10 to 13 locations being raided together and a lot of seizures being made took place and therefore uh, what we are being told is that some of these people were caught completely off guard and uh, we've seen what we've seen yesterday huge stash of cash being recovered from Arpita Mukherjee's residence and now both she as well as uh, Bengal Minister Partho Chatterjee both have been arrested by the ED.